today we are doing a little realistic Monday in my life. So typically everything that I'm doing today, I would want to do a lot of it on Sunday night, but yesterday was Easter. So I'm going to show you guys how I prep for my work week, how I get things ready to go, how I organize my schedule and how I stay organized as a full-time content creator. So we're going to do all that stuff today. I ordered some coffee today because I don't have any more Nespresso cups. I ran out, so I need to order some more today, but I did order a Starbucks today, so that'll help me out a little bit. Always start off with coffee. But now we're just gonna get ready for the day, trying like a new thing of like actually putting on an outfit and being prepped for the day so that I can feel more motivated to do things. So not much of an outfit, but it at least makes me feel like I got ready. So now we're gonna do a little bit of skincare and makeup, put my hair back. We feel put together. Started using this again, this is the Garnier Garnier micellar or um, yeah, I think that's how you say it water just to kind of cleanse the face in the morning And we're gonna go in Go in go in with full full-on beauty influencer. This is the Laneige or Laneige cream skin toner moisturizer It's very milky. This does kind of last time I used this. I felt like it left my skin a little sticky, but It did give a nice glow <laughs> Funny story. <laughs> Yesterday at Easter, I like I've been brushing my eyebrows up like this because I don't want to get them done, and I don't like when they get all like clumpy. <laughs> and one of my family members came up to me, and she's like, "Taylor, go like this. Your eyebrows are sticking up." <laughs> I was like, "Good." <laughs> okay, outfit is done and ready. We are ready for the day. All right. Um, put you back on the tripod. I had to switch my, I had to switch my battery. <laughs> Where's my bed? Shut the outfit and we're ready to go. Alright, here we go. Here's the full fit. Bruh. Wow. I am like, <laughs> I think this is my first time ever filming. But this is, this is okay. We don't have shoes on because we're at home. But yeah, so now we're going to gather all the things we need to get started. Laptop, iPad, work phone, personal phone. And we'll go to the office, the living room. Where should we set up shop today? I don't want to be in my bed. Yeah, I usually, guys, he's trying to expose me like you guys even care. Yes, I'm usually in my bed doing my work, but I tried to tell them like, you know, we're trying to do, trying to be more um, intentional. And usually I do this stuff that I'm going to be doing right now, maybe on a Sunday. And I like prep for the week and I don't really do that in bed. Harlow, my little shadow. Okay. This is why it's so easy to do it from bed because I have this little tray. So what wasn't pictured this morning was me doing my devotions. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday was Easter, so I went to church and spent time with family, but this morning I kind of felt like I wanted to do another Easter service because I felt like I didn't get too much, I didn't learn too much from the Easter service at church. I feel like you go to church for so many years as a Christian on Easter and you hear the same message over and over again. So I was trying to search for something that would teach me a little bit more than what I typically hear. So the service that I listened to online was from Ocean's Church in California, I believe Orange County, and they talked about like something I've never studied in the Bible at all and kind of have glanced over a bunch of times and it was actually Mark Hold on, I'm trying to get to it so I can talk about it. It was Mark 15 42 through 47 and it's basically it's literally a short little blurb in the Bible in Mark. They also talk about it in Matthew and Luke I believe but it's the, the burial of Jesus and the fact that Joseph of Arimathea so it's they describe him as a honored member of society, basically a, a wealthy guy, kind of like a businessman. He has a lot, a lot of money, a lot of clout in the the city or town where he's from, and he had basically purchased, kind of like how we would purchase a lot. He had purchased a tomb, so like basically how a millionaire would have it, like somewhere. Whether I think this was like his garden, so he had put tons of money into having a tomb for his family um for when they pass on and he went and asked for jesus's body so out of all the people that jesus had touched throughout his ministry like all the blind people he healed and gave their sight back to all the 
um, mute people he gave their voice back to, all the people who couldn't walk, the paralyzed people who got their abilities back. No one went after Jesus after he died. And this random businessman who isn't really, I don't know if he's mentioned any other time in the Bible, but like I've never heard of him. <laughs> randomly comes up and asks Pilate for Jesus's body and they're kind of like okay yeah here like you can have him and <laughs> and um he takes Jesus's body and kind of like how Jesus was born and wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in a manger he wrapped him in fine linens and placed him in a tomb so it's kind of funny the way he entered the world was also the way he left the world he placed him in a tomb and I think it's just really interesting how jo like Joseph gave up his family's tomb gave up his future, like where he thinks his whole family's gonna lay to rest, gave up his whole future for Jesus. And Jesus basically like, just borrowed it for three days and then gave it back to him and then rose from the dead. But I just think it's cool, like the, the kind of concept of giving your future to Jesus and you never really know what's gonna come from that. Like it's always gonna be, I don't know. I just, I thought it was pretty cool. Like there was just so many different points. But yeah, so we talked about that today or the pastor talked about it and I listened and yeah so that was what wasn't pictured in my my morning but I was focused I was tuned in I was here so yeah that was that I have this little um journal because I know people ask this journal it's a notes to self journal from um inside then out and it's just like where I keep all my devotionals bible studies Sunday services and then this is a Bible I use it has throughout the whole thing it has like little note sections on every single page like in the margins basically so that you can like write your notes on the side as you read and this is from hmm, where is this from oh Hosanna Revival so yeah that was that was that it didn't picture it but that's what we did today. All right, so this is my little setup right now, but I use ClickUp. I don't really wanna show you guys because it has like everything all mapped out, but it basically allows me to have like communication with my, my manager and how she has everything kind of playing out. So basically what's to pitch, what has been pitched, what needs to be followed up on, what we've landed for collaborations, how much they're paying us, and then where we are in each collaboration. So that's all here and it keeps it really easy and organized for me so I can see where we are in our timelines for things, where I am collaborations if I still need to film if I need to edit something this is how we kind of communicate obviously we communicate through text as well but this is just where I can visually see everything and it's easy to keep track of besides that we do have to do our morning post I post typically I'll post every morning at 10 a.m. but today I am posting for skims and skims wanted their post to go up at 12 p.m. because their launch is at 9 a.m. on like California time so all my posts go through my work phone. All of my content is on my work phone because me as well as everyone else in the world has no more storage on our regular phones. So I got a work phone. And then this is where like the organization comes in because like if you are a content creator, you know that every brand is different. Their hashtags are different. Their posting style is different. Things that they want you to have in your post are different. Sounds, all that type of stuff. And a lot of it has to be approved before you post. So in ClickUp, I have everything I need. So for like the Skims one, I can just go to our Skims folder or tab and my management has everything laid out. Like I need to post Monday, 9 a.m. PST. Here's my caption. Make sure to put on the paid partnership toggle. Here's the sound that was approved, the post that was approved. And I literally can like look at that on my computer while I post and I make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, that's posted. It was kind of already prepped, so that was really easy. Okay, so that is up and ready. If you haven't seen it, go like it, go support it. Look at that, I think Skims loves it. <laughs> okay, for planning out my day-to-day -day and everything else that my management doesn't handle, I use um, this calendar that I have on my iPad. This iPad kind of holds all of my all of my planning in general and it's really easy. I have the little pen which makes it like a virtual notebook. All of my posts are scheduled on here so I know like the pink posts are for Instagram, the purple ones are for TikTok sponsorships so I have all of those so that I know when I need to do like organic posts because I like to post every day. So we know that before Wednesday because I don't have any sponsored posts for Wednesday or Thursday I need to film some film some content. So this is today. So obviously 
my skims post went up today tomorrow i have another sponsored post but it's on instagram and then i don't have another sponsored post until or actually this isn't even sponsored but it's a post that i need to post um i have an event on thursday which we know we're gonna shoot some content so obviously i'll post a recap the next morning so it's just those types of things that i like to have organized so i know what makes most sense and what authentically like fits the actual life i'm living and what i'm posting on social media now we're gonna plan out as much as we can for the whole week so i'm just gonna go over to monday click that and it gives you this layout so I can do my schedule hourly here and then any things I need to do like tasks my priorities will go up here and then I usually don't do anything there but here is where I'll put like what I need to film if necessary on that day then I'll kind of like reiterate it here in detail and anything else that's like kind of like a to-do list and then hourly I usually don't do this section unless I have things specifically for hours like if I have a meeting doctor's appointment um, events, anything like that, that all goes here. So we're gonna go ahead and just do this for any of the days that I know I have things this week. Today we need to make sure that we try on one of the dresses that came in for that event. I got it in a size six, so I don't think it's gonna fit, but I also ordered a four, so we need to know if that four is actually gonna fit or if I need to order a two <laughs> ASAP. So I have to go downstairs and get that package and try that on. Oh, and I have another, I have another dress in storage that I have to, get because it's an option for the event too. Try that on. So basically I'm hosting an event at Petula's, which is a restaurant in Boston. It's really pretty. It has like, it's like tons of flowers, tons of roses, um, kind of like a vintage pink theme. And we're hosting an event there with Rotate. Rotate is an app that allows you to rent out your closet. So you know how us girls are. We get a dress for an event and we don't wear it like ever again, or at least for a while. So it gives you the opportunity to take that dress, put it on to your closet online, and other people can rent that dress. Kind of like rent the runway, but it's your own closet. So they just launched their app, which makes things easier to kind of list and rent. Um, so I'm hosting the event for that app launch, which is pretty cool. And I do have like things on the Rotate app already so it'll be exciting to like add more things and get more things rented and stuff like that so that you guys can go ahead and rent it so i'll make sure to put the link in the description so that you guys can um kind of look at what i have on there and you can rent things it doesn't have to be for an event like if you just want to wear it if you want to get it and take pictures or you want to just just do whatever you want with it and tag me when you rent my closet because i want to see how you style my pieces Me, nosy? Nah. <laughs> Did you hear people yelling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody was yelling. Brenna just sent me a video because I missed her call. Wait, I need to actually face her back. Oh, I was just about to face type you back, bro. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Goodness, sure you will. she comes home. Guys. Because if I, I have my dress downstairs from Nordstrom that just came in, so if I go try that on and it doesn't fit, then maybe I can return that too. Okay. So let me go get that. I shall wait. All right, random yourself work. Yeah, I'm doing a realistic day in my life on on a Monday. We're having we're having a party tonight. This is not at wait. seven o'clock. Mm, why? LSU versus Iowa. Don't you have a game tonight? There is an important game. Iowa's not playing. I mean, not playing. Iowa. Casey Carter's not even playing. Why not? She got hurt. She got hurt doing <laughs> what? On Easter? Right. You start, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the package came. We're opening it to see. Oh gosh. Oh wow. Oh, oh. wow. I don't want it. I don't want everyone to see my messy kitchen. Oh. Ow. Oh my goodness, this is maybe, so so pink. Can maybe, I open it? Maybe somebody should clean it. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Well. This is the, oh my gosh, this is the dress. It's definitely not gonna fit. It looks too big on the waist already, but how cute. So we're gonna try it on if it doesn't fit. I'm filming on my phone now because my laptop, my, my thing died. All right, so this is definitely gonna be returned. <laughs> it's, it's a little big, but now we're just trying to decide, obviously don't mind the straps, but we're trying to decide because I, this is a six, I ordered a four and I think the two would be a better option. So I might have to try to order the two and see if it comes in, in on time. But here's the issue, the four is already coming in the morning of the event. But yeah, even if this was zipped all the way, I still have that much room. So, but this is what it looks like on, if it were to actually fit, it would look something like that. Cute. 
Alright, so we're gonna go return it. Alright, we're in the car now. We're gonna head over to Nordstrom immediately and return this and see if they have another size. But Brianna says we have to go to Nordstrom Rack and I don't know if they're gonna let me return it. And I know for sure they're not gonna No, have we it. can go to Nordstrom too. I don't mind. I just said while we're there, mind as well check, right? Yeah. Right. And it'll save us the trip. Yes, yeah, so that's where we're headed. I have the return in the back. Potentially be delivered would be the tenth. Okay. Alright, and then my other question is because I I've ordered now a size six, a size four, and I need a size two, but um, I'm wondering if I can return the the one that I got that's a size six, if I can return that at a Nordstrom rack or if it has to be a Nordstrom. Oh no, it doesn't have to be a Nordstrom. You can definitely return the item to a Nordstrom rack as well. Okay, perfect. Alrighty then, thank you so much. Of course, if that was all I do, wish you a wonderful day and a great week ahead. All right, thank you. Have a good one. This sucks. You gotta just hope you can work with the four. I have to, yeah. <sighs> Dang it. Anthropology has it in a size two, but they also ship late. Yeah. I just wanna apologize because I'm doing a very bad job at driving right now. Yeah, I know. I'm car sick. <laughs> um, but let me see if I can find. We're really trying to get this dress, guys. It's just, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful dress, some may say. Oh, this is so sad. I really don't think I'm gonna fit into a four. I feel like it's gonna have to be a two based off the way that that one fit. I really, really, really feel like it's gonna be, like I'm gonna need a, um, a two. So I'm trying to like message like Anthro's customer service now to see if I can get that. Cause they have it in a two as well now, which is so funny. Cause like a week ago, nobody had it in a two. Like, no one had, everyone had just like either a six and, or an eight. And now they have a two and a four. I'll update you guys if I get anything, anything figured out. All right, let's return. Like, why do I feel like I'm gonna get in there and they're gonna give me some type of like no, excuse? You like, cannot. no, you can't. You can only get store credit because it's not Nordstrom. It's not Nordstrom. Yes. That's not Nordstrom. I'm so nervous. I really feel like that's something that's gonna happen. It's okay, whatever. Let's just see, like I'm getting bad vibes. <laughs> I'm really, I really, really am. Hi, how are you? Good. I just have to make a quick return. I'll open it for you. A few moments okay. later. Thank you so much. You guys don't have recycling, do you? <laughs> oh, I can trash it. Too. Yeah? yeah? You're the best. Thank you so much. You. So that is returned, and I've decided that I'm not going to force it with the size 2. Like, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to try to order it in time. Like, it's literally three days away. We know it's not going to come in time. And even if it does, it's not a big deal. I have other dress options. It's not the end of the world. It's not all about what you wear. So. <laughs> So that's it. Now we're we're home, walking back to the apartment, and um, I'll finish my my like actual administration stuff. Yeah, Brianna has packages because she has her own brand, and her her stuff came in to sell. Two of them. So she just carried them. It's so funny because she she like works out quite frequently, and the people wait like for the the office were like, "Oh, do you need a cart for that?" And she literally just deadlifted them. <laughs> And they're like, wow, oh man, so strong. <laughs> All right, we're back. We are back. I'm trying to decide now. So I have to finish like planning and writing everything down that I need to do, but I know things are gonna come to me as I think of them, and then I'll just write them down. But remember you guys saw that I needed to do an outfit video for Wednesday, to post on Wednesday. So I think I'm gonna try to put that outfit together now. So these are the pants that we're thinking. These just came in. It's from a company called a company called Salt Small Business. These are their cargos, which are so cool. They have like almost like a double layer, kind of. You can kind of see it. So I think I want to style these. I think it'll look cute with like a slick back, like I have. So we'll probably just keep this whole face situation and then style it. So I'm gonna try to put something together. Okay, change of plans because I might. I don't have anything I really, really want to pair that with yet. The cargos, and I have. I have some stuff coming in from Abercrombie and American Eagle, like some gifted things, and I might be able to pair it with that stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna put that on hold. All right, I'm back at my desk. So I wanted to tell you guys what I've been working on. Not really working on, but I've been taking on. I guess you could call them clients. But I've been approached like a lot, like a, a very decent amount of times about styling opportunities and like people wanting me to style them or like put together outfits for different events and whatever, I get styling. But 
I recently did one for a WNBA player. She looked for, she was looking for a few outfits, just casual outfits to wear, like day-to-day -day life and all that type of stuff. So I put together a document with like the outfits and then the links to all the pieces so that she could purchase. And then I'm doing it right now for someone else who's going to Disney for a weekend and wanted some Disney like outfits that were like casual, not too loud. She's a mom. Uh, she has, I think, three kids, if I'm not mistaken. But either way, she's a mom. She's going to Disney. She wants to be comfortable, but she still wants to be cute. So comfy casual um, with a little bit of like Disney inspiration. So I'm currently trying to go through and put those outfits together for her so I can send them over uh, before four o'clock. So putting those links together now, I'll show you guys like what it like, looks like. This is what we got going on. It's kind of hard to see because the the glare but this one's really cute we just got some pinstripe little pants and then i have like some inspo here of like how other people have worn it on pinterest but just some pinstripes some an over oversized white tee a little hat that has like mickey on it sneakers and like i tried to do it where like a lot of the pieces she'll probably have in her closet some styling tips there written out by me and then all the links with the total this one's also really cute with like a little graphic tee tried to bring in like the trendy like cheetah print here overall some overall outfits inspo and then how i would style these pieces how i'd wear it how i'd cuff the bottom leave one strap open like the way i would lace the shoes all those types of things and then i just have to work on one more outfit but yeah so this has been really fun it's a new project that i want to start doing i'm not ready to really open it up to like everyone and take on everyone but if you are going somewhere and you need some outfit inspo and you don't want to shop hit me up and we can talk we can definitely talk so that's how we're doing it right now i haven't officially like launched like a business with it yet but just kind of doing one here and there that's what i'm working on right now as i have uh some waffles in the toaster because i got hungry waffles great midday snack sprinkle cinnamon a little bit of sugar still got my coffee we're good Mm, so good. It says, so then every Monday around this time, Brad and I will sit here and no. okay. <laughs> like clockwork. All right, so we got the green light from this client to like go ahead and finish the styling process. So I'm gonna send her what I have so far. All right, so I have to do that last outfit now and then that's basically it for the day oh can you say hi to the friends look it hello look what's this who's this right here no not there gosh look right there oh. mm. why are you doing that just say hi to the friends look how big her head is oh my goodness she got a haircut and they didn't cut her head all right, I think that's it for today for the work day. Again, like I need to finish my to-do list, which things like just come to me throughout the day and like I'll add it down on that, um, on my iPad. So I have a few things I need to add on there. I need to finish doing the styling for this one client and send that over. So that's what I'll do now. And then I'm trying to think, I definitely wanna find the pieces that I want to style these pants. I have the idea in my head, so I just need to execute it. And if I need to order those pieces, I do have selects I can make for Revolve for April. So I'll probably include stuff in there that I can use to style this week. But that's it. That is a realistic Monday starting off the week, how I organize my stuff. Um, I guess I'll go through camera equipment too, because I feel like I get questions on that too. And I feel like this is a video that's kind of related on that. So I will show you guys the camera that I use to film all my reels and all that hold on two seconds all right here we are so this is the camera that i use for all of my reels it seems like it's a little bit um of a force but it's a canon eos r and i don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> i have the 24 millimeter sigma lens on it and it needs like the adapter so you have the eos r ef adapter so the ef adapter 24 millimeter sigma lens Canon EOS R and then I like it because like I film like this obviously because it's for Instagram or TikTok so it's vertical and when I film this pops up and I can see everything I'm filming here which is great um, very easy to use it's compact without the lens like if I'm traveling this is how big she is 
so very very easy to travel with then obviously you need a tripod this is a tripod i use it's very sturdy it's thicker legs this one has a little level here so you can tell when things are straight it's the un un b size un b size un u b size i have no idea what that is <laughs> But whatever, I, that's the one that I have. I'll have it linked. But it's also in my on my Instagram. I have highlights and it'll say like camera equipment. Everything is linked under there. Then for vlogging, like right now, the one that I'm filming on is a Canon G7X Mark III. But I also have the Canon G7X Mark II. I also take like pictures with flash on here. Like if I'm going to an event or going out for the day, I don't bring my big camera. I'll just shoot with this. However, for a staged, I guess like, fashion outfit things like the one I just did for Mark Fisher was shot on my Canon EOS R but some like in the moment photos like there's one of me in like a pink bathroom on my Instagram that's with this so those are the two cameras that I use and I also have a tripod that you guys are on right now which is just like a TikTok shop tripod but everything's linked in that highlight on my Instagram and I'll try to link it here as well but yeah that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions or you feel like i left something out just feel free to ask you can ask here in the comments or you can dm me on instagram but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one